it's more than a roast. It's everything and everyone you need, all at one table. Thank you so much, Kyo. Yes, we are in the kitchen with Mr. Michael Olivier, and we are cooking chicken liver prego rolls this morning, aren't Absolutely. we, Michael? Absolutely. I'm just Very trying nice. to find the picture here. The picture? Yes, there Okay, we well, you, that's it. Is that it? That's it. That one right yeah, there. Absolutely. Exactly. Sure, so I'm trying to get back into the zone of what we are doing because I've been losing myself on the painting this <laughs> morning. We are, we are creating a, a beautiful espresso canvas between all those presenters and we're gonna be hanging that in our studio. You'll that see that. Fun. But I think right now we need to start cooking. Yep. So what okay. we're going to do is we're going to take some chicken livers and you, you need to clean them very carefully and remove all the sort of greeny bits in there okay. and the sinews and things. And Zola's done these for us absolutely beautifully. They, They're just wonderful. That's it. You know so, what? I'm not, I'm not the hugest fan of liver, liver in general. I can only eat one kind of liver, and that is those skull pikeys. I'm sure you guys Karu know skull it. Karoo well. yes. skull pikeys, yes. That's, that's what's Delicious. the net fed of sweets. Oh. That's very nice. That's probably the only liver I can eat. So let's, let's see if you can change me. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to put some olive oil in here and it's just looking a tad hot so that's it so you don't want it I'm too gonna, hot no i'm just going to turn it down a little bitty okay so okay so it must be hot but not too not hot. too hot i like it okay right and so we we'll put in the chicken liver Woo -wee! angry chicken livers there we go that's it that's it that's it and i'll just kind of just get stand back stand back yes and we just give them a good <laughs> there we go. All right. Give sure. a good frying that in there. That was uh, quite a nervous moment there. In the oil. Okay. Well, you know, in the kitchen, things can get pretty hectic yeah, sometimes. Yeah, who says things go, you know? <laughs> the kitchen can be a rough place. So it does, the temperature does come down in the pan. But you see, we, we're sort of, sort of caramelizing the outside. And then we want to, we want to cook them through. But it's quite, it's quite good to have them just slightly pink on the inside now. Okay. Because we're going to cook them in the sauce a little bit just now. But as far as well. I know, you know, chicken livers, they cook pretty quickly. Yes? They well, do you don't need to yeah. keep them on the pan Abs for quite a absolutely. while. Absolutely. All right. And so this is a, this is a, a sort of a version of the Portuguese uh, prego roll, which of course uses steak. That's it, that's it, that's it. Chicken liver prego roll. Of absolutely. course, if you want this recipe, you can just SMS the keyword rolls to 33728 and we'll send you this recipe. Right. Michael, that was so very quick. It is quick, and as I say, they're still slightly pink on the inside. Is that how you want because it? No, that's how you want it, because we're going to, we're going to, finish, the, we're going to finish the cooking um, when, when we've got the sauce going. Oh, I see, I see, So we're I going see. to pop in a little bit more oil. All right. And then we're going to take a couple of bay leaves, and what we're doing here really is just flavoring, um, flavoring the, the oil. A couple of sprigs of rosemary. Okay. So you don't even cut it up, you just throw it in there yeah, like that? Absolutely. We can take it out later on. Okay. And here I've got a couple of cloves of garlic. Right. And we're just going to slice them thinly. Right. And you see you go very thinly. Nice. nice. Nice if you've got a sharp knife. That's it, that's it. Well, that's smelling yeah. amazing. I love that rosemary coming in too. Rosemary incredible? smells always amazing. Yeah, and then we put the garlic in. And then we want to be a little bit careful here because we don't want to, we don't want to burn the, the garlic. That's it, yes, because what, what happens to garlic when it burns? It goes bitter. Very bitter, very yeah. not nice, yeah. Oh, smell that rosemary. Isn't that's that incredible, the way that flavor man, just comes off? It just off? travels all but over very, the place. I very, very sort of aromatic. So I just wow. want to cut those in half a little bit. There we go. Got it. Right. Now what we do is we... Oh, that smell is just it's amazing. Very, very, very nice. A little touch of white wine. Hey, I saw a flame there. You didn't. I did. You didn't. Could have been my imagination, all but I, I'm almost sure that I did. Well, if, if there was a flame, that means that the alcohol of the wine was setting in light. Now, what we're doing That's here it. is we're just gathering up all this lovely... Brown, residue. Yeah, brown stuff from the from the edges there. And then we're going to add some peri-peri. Now, mm -hmm. the, the recipe that we have was for mild peri-peri. Yeah. But this is a hot peri-peri, so I'm just cutting okay. back. But well, one thing I know for sure, the Portuguese people like their food hot. Absolutely. Spicy, nice and hot. Especially when it comes to using 
Terry yeah. Terry. But it's a very unique way of cooking the Portuguese, the way they go about things. It's very creamy, and, very... And the you know, food, very tasteful. You know, I've spent a lot of time in, in Portugal. I, I went to go and write a book with a, with a Portuguese wine writer about Portuguese wine. Yeah. And, gosh, the, the, the food was just amazing. Yeah. The wines are incredible, especially the really? those lovely port wines from up in the, in the Douro Valley. Oh. So this is exactly the sort of snack that you want to have exactly. at the end of your Easter weekend. End of the Easter weekend. Just to spoil yourself, for those people of you who are really fans of liver, I'm not so sure myself. The sauce is amazing, though. So we'll see how it goes down at the end, Mr. Michael. Absolutely. we we'll just cook it a little scrappy more. All right. And then let's get ourselves a couple of... Let's see how you prepare these rolls. A couple of rolls. These are, these are sort of what you buy in, in pick and pay, and they're called Portuguese rolls, and they're, Love they're nice and rolls. crispy on the outside. Yeah. And lovely and soft on the inside. So I think we'll just take That's two it. of them. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll, we'll pop them on the, on the plate there. All right. So really the cooking process of these livers, I mean, you had them in for literally a total of, what, three minutes Absolutely. Almost. And it doesn't matter if they are slightly pink on the inside when you eat them. There's, really? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> not that I would know, you know. <laughs> you know? Not, not that you're oh. about to try either, I would imagine. Well, I'm going to try it. I am going to try it. Excellent. Definitely. Definitely. So that keyword, once again, rolls to 33728, and we will send this recipe to your mobile phone. Right. Okay. There we are. Okay. Isn't that fun? It looks good. Yeah. It looks good. I would love to taste that sauce, though. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to keep a little bit of the sauce here. I think we'll just take those bay leaves out. That's it. Yeah. And then all you do is you just pop the tops on at a bit of an angle, like that. And then we can just garnish with a. Thank you. All right. Garnish with a. Sprig of rosemary. I know that cookery people will say you have to be able to eat what you garnish with, but I mean, that's <laughs> really nice and generous. Look, and that's going to go. And that goes in, yeah, less than a hundred. So I mean, for four people, you get a really, really that's good very easy. snack supper. So, so give me a piece of liver then. Let me let me try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna try this liver. All right. Let's let's hope it's not hot. Okay. Let's see if. All right. Go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Here we go. I think I'll taste some so if it is it is it Becky's brand? <laughs> the sauce is amazing. The liver, I don't know man. Mm. I don't know if I'll be a fan of liver. Oh, <laughs> but wow. for those of you who really does like liver, this is amazing. The sauce absolutely divine. Michael, thank and you so much. The chili so much. fills your mouth completely. It does. It? I'm actually a bit of a sweat here now. <laughs> thank you so much. Take Very care. nice. And happy you. Easter to all our That's viewers. it. That's it. I hope it was a great Easter weekend so far. Remember that keyword rolls to 33728 and you can have that recipe. Right now, time for the couch potato with Leanne. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.